the mystery that reverberated all the way into the White House today. A member of President Obama's cabinet was involved in two hit and run crashes, accused of leaving the scene and found unconscious in his car. And there are mysterious reports tonight of a medical condition. So what happened? ABC's David Wright has been piecing together the clues for us. Rarely does the White House get grilled about a hit and run accident. We're obviously concerned about uh, the incident. A reporter from a local NBC affiliate even asked the president. I just found out about this uh, today mm -hmm. and uh, you know my hope is that uh, he's doing all right. But in this case, the driver police are investigating was a member of President Obama's cabinet, U.S. Secretary of Commerce John Bryson. On Saturday, Bryson, driving a black Lexus, rear-ended a white Buick that was stopped at a train crossing in San Gabriel, California. The cabinet secretary got out of his car and spoke briefly with the three men in the Buick. Then he got back in the Lexus and promptly fled the scene, driving around the Buick, backing into it again and speeding off. The other driver chased him. That first accident happened shortly after 5 p.m. on Saturday and immediately after Bryson drove down this road about a mile and a half where he was involved in a second accident. And after that, authorities found him unconscious behind the wheel of his Lexus. The important thing to remember here is it's not who's involved, it's what is involved. What actually occurred? Police say Bryson took and passed a breathalyzer and submitted to a blood test. They're still awaiting the toxicology results. Today, the Commerce Department said Bryson had suffered a seizure, but they wouldn't elaborate what caused it and would only say it was his first. One can have what's called partial complex seizures, but can have the ability to carry on a conversation can have the ability to operate a motor vehicle uh, and then have subsequent smaller seizures. Authorities say if it was a seizure, it's unlikely any charges will be filed. That first accident happened right here at this train crossing. Thankfully, nobody seriously injured. Two of the three men in the Buick were treated on scene for minor injuries. So was the driver of the uh, other car, a Honda, down the road here. Uh, and Bryson himself was hospitalized for the night, but then released. He's now back in Washington, D.C. And, and David, Bryson had no comment, still as of this hour. No word from Bryson today, and we're told from the White House that the White House only learned about this Sunday night. The president was informed of it this morning. Uh, that delay itself might raise some eyebrows.